In Vivo 534 offers new tools in the 3D analysis module. The main new feature is the 3D surgery simulation tool. It allows the user to make maxilla, mandible, and chin cuts, move the bone to simulate surgery, and compare pre- and post-surgery volumes. The 3D surgery tool automatically generates the surgery cuts based on your current tracing. The tool will require certain landmarks to be traced and will prompt you with the necessary landmarks if you don't have them all traced. Once you have traced the patient scan and placed the appropriate landmarks, you will be able to use the software's automatically generated maxilla, mandible, and chin cuts. By checking the box next to the cut label, we can view these predefined cuts. Notice that the chin cut requires the mandible cut to be active first. Once you have enabled the cut, you can make adjustments to the automatically generated cut by clicking on the Adjust Cut button and dragging the control points into position. Cuts are performed where the volume intersects the translucent planes. When you are done adjusting the cut, you can simulate surgery movement by using the Move Widget tool. Simply click and drag the widget tool in the desired direction. Notice how the 3D analysis measurements and the hex view on the right update as the surgery movement is performed. You can also manipulate the volume and make finer adjustments to the post-surgery position by entering numerical values in the given fields. Again, notice how the volume and the measurements on the right both update according to the given values. Notice that the software generates a second tracing that updates as you perform cut movements to represent a post-surgery tracing. To better visualize the tracing, you can toggle off the visibility of the volume. All of your measurements and analysis data will be updated as you perform cut adjustments. You can save these tracings by clicking this Export Tracing button. You can reset the surgery to its original position at any time by clicking the Reset button here. If you wish to create your own measurements on the volume, you can see how these measurements update as you perform the surgery simulation. If you have a skin overlaid with the scan, you can visualize the soft tissue deformation as you move the cuts by toggling on the skin visibility. Here we have the pre- and post-surgery soft tissue predictions. As we move the volume to simulate surgery, the soft tissue prediction updates. You can also use the soft tissue prediction feature to visualize the patient's frontal asymmetry and make surgery adjustments accordingly. Again, notice how the skin overlay updates in real time for easy visualization of surgery outcomes. To manually set the soft tissue deformation ratios, go to the Preference tool, click on the Soft Tissue Ratios tab, and enter values in the given fields. For skin overlaying, Invivo 534 now supports 3D camera data in the form of OBJ files. You can load the photo by using the Create Face Photo tool and selecting Load Face. Once you load the 3D camera data, you can register it to the scan. There is an additional new tool called the Profilogram, which is a simplified 2D representation of the tracing. This is useful for a quick visualization of the tracing.